Over 100 people paint this scene in watercolour. How different can they be? Which ones do you like and why? Hello, I'm Tim Wilmot, watercolour painter and tutor. I organise regular online watercolour workshops and this is a compilation of attendee paintings from my January 2021 online workshop. So every month or nearly every month, watercolour enthusiasts from all over the world join me for a two-hour paint-along experience where I do a step-by-step -step demo and answer all of your questions along the way. Last month, January 2021, we painted this scene. This is the River Windrush in Oxfordshire, UK, a winter stream scene. January was the uh, when I took the photograph. We're looking against the light, lovely shadows, um, distant trees as well, reflections in the water, a little bit of a, a movement in the river as well, frost on the grass, soft shadows coming, soft long shadows because of the winter sun coming across the, the foreground bank here. And then these these trees, these lovely old gnarly um, willow trees, I think they are, on the river bank and bit, bits of branches catching the light. So a lovely scene to try and paint in watercolour. You don't have to paint in my style. It's really interesting to see everyone's interpretation of the same scene. The workshop is open to all painters, all levels, uh, beginners and advanced. Everyone is welcome. So I'm going to show you the attendee paintings one by one and give you a short uh, critique on each one. Please, what I say is just my own opinion. Of course, with art, one person may really like a painting and another person may hate it, but that's art for you. What I'm looking for in each painting is composition, a bit of artistic flair, uh, drawing skills, watercolour technique, and sticking to the brief, trying to capture that winter UK river scene. Now also, as I go through and show you everyone's um, paintings, the, the colour and lighting in the photo may not be exactly true or exactly correct because everyone's got, of course, different cameras, something on a phone or a proper camera, different lighting conditions. So please excuse that. There'll probably be a bit of um, um, distortion of the different images. If you do want to take part, you can see all my events up at crowdcast.io slash Tim Wilmot. There you'll see this workshop, which you can still do, and the previous ones, and the next one will be on February the 27th. So let's see all of our paintings. First of all, though, my effort. So this was my practice painting a little while back before the workshop. Quite happy with the result. Capture the scene. Maybe a bit too soft on some of the colours. This is my actual um, workshop painting that I did alongside everyone else. A little bit stronger with the greens and the colours, but I think I got the the feeling of the river, the reflections in the river, the, the distant forest as well, looking through all of those quite strong vertical um, shapes in those trees, and then the willow trees with their, their limbs cut off and all these little shoots coming out of those limbs, and then these long, soft soft shadows and a little bit of frost in the grass as well. Okay, so let's get on to the attendee paintings. This is Adele. You'll see the name of the attendee at the top left corner. It's the first name to protect your, uh, just to give you a bit of privacy. Uh, but thanks very much Adele for sending me your painting. I like the soft background. Maybe we could have had a few more trees. The trees in the foreground on the bank here, they've got a lovely shape to them. And you've done well with the the actual green on the grass. I like that. Plenty of different variations of colour, soft edges. And you did well with the reflection. Certainly you've got the, the feeling of that river there down the middle. Well done, Adele. Next one, Alice. 
Yeah, so you've got a, a, a nice variation in the width of the river here, I like. Uh, good values in the background, um, dominant trees, uh, lovely right-hand tree here. You've got a good sort of, let me just see if I can zoom in a bit more to it. Nice um, softness of the, the texture of the, the tree trunk. So you can really do feel it's got a, a bit of three-dimensional form to it. And nice um, shadows, maybe a little bit overworked on some of the shadows. Lovely reflections. Well done. Uh, next up is Amy. Nice vibrant colours. Love the green here. Bit of yellow, I think, on the grass. That certainly makes a difference too. Make it very bright. Uh, lovely golden feel to the distant bank and the far trees. Uh, perhaps we could have had a few more lateral branches on some of these trees. They look a little bit too... Um, rigid and too, too sort of frequent in their spacing. Uh, but they're very nice though. And I, I like the, the way that you've done the trees and the shadows. But that, that green there is stunning. Yeah, fantastic. Well done, Amy. And Andre. I like the blue in this. That certainly makes a difference. Lovely and colourful. Uh, not so sure about some of the red on the on I guess the shadows there, those horizontals, but really loose, nice loose watercolour, well done. And um, you've got a nice bright green here on this near bank, certainly feeling the frost in the shadow um, of, the, of the big tree here on the right. Yep, well done, Andre. And Anna, quite a soft feeling to this one, very, um, misty and hazy in, in the background. Also, I feel there's like, like a figure in there as well. Um, nice and loose, nothing overworked. Love the way that you've done the trees as well. That's, that's excellent in those little wispy branches and just a, an economical use of the white paint as well. Very nice way that you've done the, the, um, this near bank here. Congratulations, um, Anna W. Yes, a lovely bright green feel to this. Maybe just a little bit too bright in the distance. The foreground is, is brilliant though. Uh, trees, very good. Um, I like the, well, particularly like that left-hand tree with all those squiggly marks. Had a bit of fun with that, I'm sure. And then these shadows, very nice shadows also. A bit of frost on the ground. Um, but lovely, lovely brightness in on the foreground bank there. Thank you, Anna W. And then Anthony. Right, you've sneaked in quite a lot of nice colours here. Very sort of wintry colours, the browns, the, the russets and uh, the ochres in the far distance. Very nice, bright, yellowy green here on the near bank. Uh, nice reflections as well. Quite a stout tree here. Uh, just be careful, a little bit of overworking of um, some of the tree trunk there. But uh, yeah, certainly captured the scene there, Anthony. Thank you. And uh, I like those colours that you got in the back. Bahia, thank you very much. Uh, yep, very nice. I like the sky, the background. Perhaps uh, we could have had a softer edge where at the base of that far forest where the, um, the far side of the bank uh, starts there. Um, but very nice colours. You've got that golden colour on the near bank. Shadows, again, maybe if we had just a, uh, some softer shadows there, that would be better. And I like the reflections. You did well with those reflections. And nice tree trunks as well. Well done by here. Uh, Barb, very nice. Uh, I like the, the way that you had the 
light in the top right corner there. So you did very well with that. We, we do have the feeling of that bright winter light coming down on the scene and then reflected uh, on the river. Yeah, excellent. Uh, perhaps some of the shadows are a little bit too hard at edge on some of those shadows, but the far side is excellent. Very nice to do. I particularly like the way that you've done that. Um, you've got the feeling of the sun there coming through. Well done, Barb. And Barbara, nice and soft. You've got uh, a nice composition. I, I, I love the tree here. Nice, uh, a nice way that you've done the, the tree trunk and all of the, uh, the, the form of that tree trunk. Perhaps a little bit overworked on the shadow. Nice greenery here and very good on the reflection. So well done, Barbara. Thank you. Let's just zoom back out again. Right. Then Barry. There's quite a sort of golden feeling to this one. Yeah, quite, quite different. I like it. Uh, perhaps we could be a little bit more I have a, a bit more of a horizontal horizon in there rather than the feeling of sloping a little bit left to right, but it's just a, a small slope. Again, you've got, like Barb, you've got a nice uh, feeling of light coming through, dry, use of the dry brush marks for the distant trees as well, works works well, nice reflections. Uh, perhaps we could have gone a bit stronger on some of the shadows on the on the near bank here. What well on Barry? Um, Betty, very nice scene. Um, sense of light coming through. I like the reflections, they're very good. And some of these horizontal lines on the surface of the water, that works really well. And a sort of slightly different sort of warmer color there in the middle. Um, Perhaps the shadows here a little bit too got a little bit of too too harder an edge to them, but good job on the good job on the the nearby trees. Well done, Betty. And Bev. Now I can see you've put a lot of detail into some of the near bank here and the grasses and and the form of the uh, the near bank here that works well, like the tree also. Um, good sense of light coming through and good movement on the river and reflections. Well done. Um, perhaps we could have gone a bit, slightly a bit darker on the shadows from this tree here. Perhaps just a little bit. And I like that tree on the left-hand side. Yeah, well done, Bev. And Bianca. So... Very bold, quite dark with the shadows here. Uh, maybe, Bianca, we could have gone a bit softer with the shadows as they come further away from the tree. Like the distant bank, good job on the river as well. You certainly got the feeling of the flow of the river. And that tree on the left is, is fantastic, so sort of a nice sort of bent shape to it. Yeah, well done. Thank you, Bianca. And Bob. Um, right, nice composition. Good values. Lovely bright green here on the nearby bank. Uh, could have gone a bit stronger, I think, with the shadow from the tree, trying to get the feeling of, of the lines coming out this sort of this sort of direction that sort of angle there from the tree uh, good value in the background as well yeah very nice well done Bob and Bogdan very bright in the distance uh, just behind the tree on the right hand side yeah I like it uh, with the reflections I think we've got too stronger, um, these vertical lines here, maybe a little bit, 
they could be joined up a bit more um, on the far side of the bank. But I, I like the actual lines that you've got in there. Very, very, um, very, uh, certainly got the feeling of, of the reflection and movement of the water. Nice green on the near side bank. Could have gone a bit stronger with the shadows there, Bogdan. Um, and the trees, yeah, the trees are all right. Maybe got got too many, too many branches um, on them for these these sorts of trees. But uh, nice, a nice, colourful scene, and certainly a sense of light coming from the right hand side. Thank you. Uh, right, next up is Bridget. Again, nice sense of light coming through, nice and loose. Perhaps some of these trees could be, we could have some trees more in the middle distance. They seem to be all on the edge of the bank, edge of the far side of the bank here. Um, but they're very nice trees. Yeah, the reflections are all right. Try and make reflections in line with the trees as well. So um, this, this tree here, the reflection there and so on, if you see what I mean. Um, and I like the near side bank, nice and loose. And these vertical marks work, work quite well. I quite like this. Uh, not so sure about the shadow of that tree there. Um, but you certainly captured the, the scene really well. Thanks, Bridget. Thank you. And Bronwyn. I like the background Bronwyn. Um, nice sort of irregular levels to that, not not um, a boring horizontal line and a soft edge as well as we come down. Good reflections. Now, perhaps some of the lines on the bank just to make it feeling feel as if this 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 bank here is level just watch the perspective maybe some of these lines could be a little bit more horizontal there than as we come down they're coming a bit more um vertical if you like so a bit more horizontal here do you see what i mean um but nice green that you got in there touch of frost as well great shadows and I like the tree, particularly like that background there. Um, yeah, very good. Thank you, Bronwyn and Bruno. I like your style, Bruno. Uh, the the colours that you've got on this near bank and that white there. Um, yeah, that's a really good idea to to actually sort of emphasise the. The brightness, it could be a wet patch of grass or something like that that's really catching the light. Nothing overworked. Now, I've been saying for quite a few people, the shadows, get the shadows a little bit darker. Or maybe they're a bit too overworked. But you've gone with more of a artistic um, interpretation of this shadow of this big tree, which I think really works. Nice golden colour of the background trees as well. Yeah, different different interpretation of the scene with the this near near side bank there well done bruno let me just zoom back out right next one calvin very bold quite geometric shapes i know this is i was saying at the beginning everyone should paint in their own style not necessarily copy me exactly um and this is this is Calvin style, and Calvin always gets in a trademark lady um, with a big hat, normally a big, long, flowing dress as well. But this lady is obviously taking a picnic and being very brave in the UK winter on that far bank there. Uh, yeah, very nice, very bold. I know it's your style. I would have liked maybe just a few more lateral branches just to give us a bit more horizontal interest but this this is your i know this is your style oh this this tree on the left hand side maybe that could be a tiny bit bigger they are um 
the trees on the far side, they are quite large. So maybe if that tree on the left hand side was a little bit bigger in relation to those um, far trees, that would be. But I like the colours also that you've got into these tree trunks. Look at the granulation going, the blues and reds. Very nice. And nice light also in the top right corner. Excellent. Yeah, you really got the feeling of the light, the light coming through there. Well done, Calvin. And Carol E. Nice bright grass on the near side bank. Lovely background as well. Soft, very soft um, edges. Uh, where obviously you, I can see that you're very. Um, familiar with a wet in wet uh, technique in watercolour. Um, perhaps as I've pointed out on a f on somebody else's just previously, try and get the these lines here. Um, try to emphasize the the this level bank. I feel like they're slipping down just a little bit too much, but great colour on that bank and this I like that tree as well. Yeah, well, well done, Carol. Very nice. Thank you. And Carolyn. Yeah, this is a, a nice interpretation of the scene. I like the little bit of lifting out and the way that you've done the tree trunks here. That, that dry brush mark, that works really well to... Uh, with, with the bright sunlight um, behind it coming through, that using those those dry brush marks really helps um, get the, that feeling. Um, nice golden yellow um, grass on the near side bank here. Yeah, uh, very good. I like it, Carolyn. Brilliant. And Kathy E. This is a, a cool interpretation of the scene. Certainly got the feeling of winter here uh, with those cool greens on the near near bank. I like the way that you've, you, you must have a really good brush, um, Kathy, for doing these lines, these little thin lines here. They work really well. Very naturalistic um, and a nice background also, irregular edges to those uh, background trees. They were actually quite, they're quite level um, in the source photo, but you've made it a lot more interesting. Yeah, very wintry uh, scene. And you've got those, the talking about the perspective, you've got those lines there really well. You see as we're, as we're coming down, we're getting a bit more vertical as we come down to, to the middle of the, uh, the scene. Uh, well done, Kathy. And Celia. Yeah, nice composition. Nice, uh, uh, the background as well. You've done well there. Soft edges, feeling of light coming through. I like, I like that um, dry brush mark there that you've put in. Just gives a feeling of a a bit of a canopy to one of the trees in the on the in the far side on the far side of the bank. Um, very nice near side bank here as well. Shadows, nice nice and loosely done. Good form to the tree trunk. And lots of nice colors in that tree trunk as well. Blues, greens, browns. Yep, well done. Thank you, Celia. Cesar. Oh, I like this. This is almost like a sort of pastel type uh, um, texture to it, particularly with this this um, near bank here. I like it, and these these blues that you've got in. Yeah, really nice. And maybe you've you've dropped in some clear water to get the effect here of um, little sort of miniature blooms in that shadow. Uh, this is excellent. Yeah, and and. You, you've got, I mean, we're not, we don't have that nice, vibrant, yellowy green that we've got in the photo, but instead we've got this very cool, 
uh, all the different textures and, and values that you've got into into this near side uh, this near side of the river. Yeah, I like it. Nice gold mixtures of warms and cools. So that sort of goldeny color then, and then over to a more of a um, a bluish um, color for the frosty patches and that far side tree as well. Yeah, well done, Cesar. Like it. Uh, Chima. This is lively. I like the way that you've been very artistic with the shadow of um, the larger tree. Uh, maybe just a, a two, maybe slightly too many of these um, marks you made for the distant trees. Um, but you've, you've got the feeling of, of the of that far forest there and the, the soft edge as well um, in the distance. I like the way that you've done the grass. I think that works well with these little brush marks that you've got just to give the indication of different um, mounds of grass and uh, the lights there also. And these like Cesar, a nice bit of blue um, in the in the shadows there. Yep, very wintry. Well done, Chima. Hopefully I pronounced your name okay. I know you've been on workshops before, and I <laughs> um, hopefully I pronounced uh, your first name all right. Thanks very much, indeed. And Ching. Yeah, I like it. We've almost got these. So you've, you've actually emphasised the size of these two trees, left and right, and join them as well so we've got the branches sort of almost meeting like the top of an arch um, together that's a good idea actually from a design point of view having those those two connected in that way um, and then we we've got like we can just sort of peer through this curve of um, this right hand tree here which is curving through to the light yeah Good idea. Um, nice golden feel to the nice bright feeling to the near side bank patches of frost, just the right value and distance. Yeah. Well done, Ching. Good idea joining those two trees together. Uh, Christine. Very loose. Perhaps the uh, near side bank here, just a little bit overworked maybe if you had I'm not sure what size brush you might have been using Chris maybe go for a bigger brush perhaps and being a bit more bold with some of these shadows so we don't end up with some of these these lines here uh, but good values great reflections um, you've got the colors of the distant forest just right as well and good job on these trees. Nice bit of touch of the dry brush marks also. Well done, Christine. Thank you. And Dan F. Great range of values in this one, Dan. Uh, you've used a bit of scratching out here, I think, which works well for the texture of the grass in the foreground. We don't have that golden colour, but you certainly got the sombre feeling of this um, January day and these dry brush marks as well. I, I really like um, this right hand side, the way that you're framing the right hand side and coming down and um, coming along the, the base of the painting as well. Nice, um, nice way that you've done the background also with the, the sunlight coming through the soft edges and we just we just perceive that that far distant that far distant forest there. Yeah, well done Dan. Excellent. And David C. Right. Uh, the composition is good. Maybe slightly overdone on 
some of these smaller twigs coming from the main trunk just a little bit but i like the the way that you've done the far bank the middle distance of background with the shadows we could have gone maybe a little bit stronger on some of the shadows and also watch that um, pers perspective um, trying to maybe just tweak that angle a tiny bit so that we get the feeling of the the the, the level of the foreground uh, but values are, are just right and well we really do feel that light coming through especially in there that that little um fork in the uh that little dip and the distant far bank there nice like it uh well done david david c just in case there's another well there, are, there might be a few davids david j very loose very impressionistic um i like it a lot yeah uh just nothing overworked and slightly out of focus um in the top left corner there um yeah i, I would say this is a very good exceptional brushwork david um very confident brush marks Yeah, I like it. You can see all the the different marks and shapes that David has made with the brush and the and also capitalizing on the transparency of watercolour as well with that uh with the shadow from that larger tree. Yeah. I like it. Uh brilliant. David, thanks very much indeed. That's David J. And Diane. So you've, you've um, Diane, you've actually created quite a nice texture in the river. Uh, so you've made it look as if it's faster flowing. You've incorporated some different sort of grasses on the, the near bank here. Quite light um, on this near bank. I think if this was stronger in the foreground, that might work a little bit better. But I, I like the style. And the background as well is very nice, um, particularly the the far uh, the far background with that um, row of darker forest, and that's the soft edges that you've got. Nothing overworked, nice cool shadows as well. Well done, Diane. Thank you, uh, Doris. Well, we can certainly see you're using good quality paper here. And that, that um, shows through in the in the image. Uh, nice dominant tree. Maybe um, the tree on the left hand side could have been a little bit more to the right. And so we can make more of a feature of that. But nice. You've got the soft edges. Very good. Um, very good reflections as well. I particularly like this dominant right hand tree in the form that you've got into the trunk of the tree perhaps it could have been a bit darker or if the background was lighter or maybe the sky yeah maybe the sky was a little bit lighter that would work uh but it's winter could be a gray day um i i think you you could interpret it as as uh as being that yeah thanks very much doris i like it and this is eileen let me just see if i can zoom in a bit more on Eileen's, there we go. Bright colors, lovely sky, distant trees. Uh, with some of the trees, um, again, have some lat just a, a little bit of lateral interest on some of those trees. Reflections work well, and watch with the the perspective on on the foreground here, trying to make these the lines go. You know what I mean? I've said it on previous paintings with others, just trying to emphasize that uh, just a little bit more. But I like, I like the bright colors that you've got into this. We've got reds, we've got blues, we've got yellows. Um, 
yeah, thank you, Eileen. Let's just zoom back out again. Right, on to Engin. Very nice um, horizontal dark blue. Well, we've got, we've got lots of softness in the background, but the horizontal of that um, line in the sky, which is sort of mirrored, replicated elsewhere with these, all, all these other horizontal lines. Very bold, uh, certainly have the feeling of that sunlight in the top right corner trying to pierce its way through the, uh, the trees. Um, perhaps the reflections could have been a bit stronger. Um, near side bank, yeah. Nice and loose, very impressionistic of, uh, of the shadows coming from this tree. Um, perhaps that left hand tree could be a little bit more twisted and contorted just to um, just to give it the feeling of its age and and the conditions where it's, it's struggling on the side of that bank uh, yeah well done Engin thank you very much and Erica well it's nice and loose and bold I I think the, the left-hand tree here needs to have a little bit of shadow uh, at the base of it, just to, like, like the right-hand tree, just to connect it with the foreground. That would work a little bit better. And also with the tree reflections, try and try not have that, that gap between the reflection of the riverbank and the reflections of those trees. So just try and connect up. And that little, what, that little, this little lighter patch here. So, join join it up you know with with the with the tree there and maybe lose some of this white here continuing the bank on just connect things a little bit more but great winter colors uh i, I like the um the foreground colors as well oh and some of these trees just take them up above they're, they're quite thick these trees so take them up erica above the top of the paper okay and get in a few more lateral branches maybe um with a with, with the smallest brush that you've got yeah um and nice colors i like the uh the blue that you've got down in the bottom left hand corner there thank you erica well done and evelyn very bright certainly a feeling of light coming into the foreground uh, I like the patterns that you've created in the foreground as well. Um, yeah, the, these sort of alternating areas of light and dark, and you've got the the form of the foreground as well, the way that you've got those edges in there, Evelyn. Nice touch with the blue also. Good reflections. Yeah, um, I like it. And then also trying to add a little bit of body to some of those trees in the distance so they're not too sort of stark and these these very um cold <laughs> vertical shapes you've you've introduced uh, a few little sort of curves and um, bends in the tree trunks there very effective well done evelyn next up is fiona I like the that strong horizontal line that you've got to the far side of the bank. So we're looking, it's almost as if we're looking at the scene from a slightly different angle. Nice colours in the background as well. I think it, it might need just a few more lateral um, horizontal branches with some of those far trees and great color in the foreground i like it in the way that you've got some soft edges to the darker areas of grass coming towards us uh, and that's also quite nice that shape there where the where the tree trunk is coming up and it's sort of fallen into the into the ground or it's sort of going back into the side of the uh, branch yeah nice um 
sort of artistic feelings that almost like it's um a living a living uh, creature a living being um nice right hand tree trunk here as well uh and a touch of frost yeah very good i like it well done fiona and francois very soft the you've captured the just the right colors i think certainly in the distance and also the way you've done that far back it looks as if it's got some good volume to it, it looks a little bit higher the bank um, than in some of the other or it's say in the source photo i think that works quite well um, the foreground yeah very loosely done i like the the technique that you've used here for the tree trunk and the shadow of that tree trunk sort of almost in one um, that works really well um, what else these small twigs here maybe they could have been a little bit shorter and just a few more of them and and then make them some of them make them irregular lines also just to make that just a little bit more natural so i like that left hand one better that's a better one francois and very nice natural looking green that you've got in the foreground as well yeah excellent and quite we'd actually see very much of the river which works well it's just a, a thin slice through the middle of the composition yeah thank you francois and gary h very misty background that's what i'm sensing good soft edges in the background as well i like the trees that you've alternated the angle of those trees they're not all strictly speaking vertical it's just a, an ever so subtle um uh leaning of some of those trees good reflections perhaps that left hand tree here could have been a little bit stronger a little bit thicker maybe in the in the trunk just to make it um a nice balance then more with that right hand with that right hand tree those is lovely and quite dark coming towards us well i got a nice sort of gradual um change from the lighter color in the foreground to the darker color yeah oh well done gary thank you and jeff m so like i like the colors nice sort of warm feeling to the colors the the palette you're using and we've got a sense of a, a sort of misty feeling to the distant um, the distant background uh, particularly in particularly in this area here very nice uh, watch with the shadows being a little bit too steep i think with the shadows you know, on the distant trees we would either not see them or they might be a little bit more um, horizontal shall I say depending on where the light's coming from but yeah just watch some of the angles they're just a little bit too steep there lovely colors on the in the foreground and yeah nothing's really overworked yeah nice nice loose uh, watercolor there Jeff well done and nice sort of it's got a sort of warm, warmish feeling to it, but I particularly like the um, the mistiness in the background. Uh, Gisela, another more horizontal far bank. I like it. Good feeling of colour, and the values are just right. Um, you've got the impression of a slight bank um, here on on the distant bank almost like that 
uh, which I like. And also the light that you've got, and I know you've used a little bit of white paint, but that little bit of light just here and there, um, excellent. Tiny bit of overworking on the shadow of this tree. The, these shadows here are better Gisella than, than the shadows of that main tree there. Um, I like those, but these are just a little bit, maybe the paint's a bit too thick. Um, or maybe it's too, the, the green is a bit too strong. Perhaps if it, if it was, uh, add a bit of blue into it, um, just to to tone it down a, a bit or make it a bit cooler. That would work better. Yeah, well done, Gisella. Thank you. Gwen, let's just zoom into this a bit more. I like the frame, Gwen. <laughs> it just, uh, I mean, a frame to a picture just really just takes it to another level. And uh, getting that nice crisp edge around it really does show it off well. Yeah, st strong light on on this. Uh, very loose. Nothing overworked. I, I, I like the shapes that you've got into the foregrounds with the areas of light and shade. Um, particularly like the that area there and this I mean I've been going about hard edges and soft edges on everyone else's but um, your hard edge there I think works quite well where it's sort of where it's come from that little notch um, in the at the base of the tree trunk nice colors in the in the background also the way that you've um, got a few sort of transparent layers going on there nothing overworked yeah I like it. Well done, Gwen. Let's just zoom back out. There we are. And thanks for framing it as well. Harlan. I like the golden yellow uh, palette to this. So it, maybe it's not... Um, winter as such more more autumnal in a way uh that sky I, I like the brush marks that you've got into the sky as well harlan there in the distance um a nice interpretation of the scene great colors I, I like also the the shapes and patterns that you've got into the um into the uh foreground here perhaps the edges of the shadows could be a little bit softer not so hard there um, and a nice I, I like that granulation that you've got in yeah um, and also the the feeling of the contour of that far bank yeah nothing overworked there on the far side good shapes that you've made Fin, fin of the, the contour of the the far side. Yeah, well done, Harlan. Heather. Yeah, uh, just to zoom in again on this. Um, strong light coming towards us, that sky. I think it, it needed to be light on a day like um, we had. Uh, so really a strong feeling of light coming towards us that's replicated or, or improved with the, enhanced with the, the lightness of the river there and the lightness in the foreground. I like that mark there that you've made just to give the impression of a little line of turf or, or grass coming up. Yeah, lots of different textures that you've got into this one and soft and hard edges. Well done, Heather. Thank you. Heidi. Yeah. Very loose. Nothing overworked. I like the, the reflections in the river. Beautiful. And little, 
little uh, patches left unpainted. That's very effective. Nothing overworked. Um, yeah, and you, you've also done, I think you've done a little bit of splattering there. I can see that coming in, which, which uh, if you don't overdo it for winter trees, you know, there are a few little leaves, even in January, left on the, left on some of these deciduous trees and that works that, that sort of splattering technique can work really well um, and foreground dry brush marks different techniques used in there yep well done Heidi and Ian so you've got a bit of a, a snaky windy feeling to the river um, perhaps the river could be lighter than the far side of the bank just to emphasize the feeling of that river um, if you see what I mean Ian um, so if if the like the sky the sky's the right value um, the river's the right value as a reflection from that, but maybe that faster bank just needs to be a little bit darker. Uh, nice trees though. Watch with the overworking. Don't don't overdo it with a with a small brush on some of the details of the tree trunk there, uh, and great colours that you've got onto the foreground as well. Yeah, but well done on getting that. Um, a slightly different feel to the windy river here. Well done, Ian. Thank you. Irene. So, Irene, you've you've made more of a feature of this um, main tree here on the right. Uh, perhaps the shadow is not strictly speaking correct for the tree but I like I like that shadow the way that you've got that bit of a quirky edge to it and also oh you've you've um put this on a mount as well <laughs> a, a sort of pinkish mount yeah nice um I like the foreground here these, these that sort of lighter patch and very quick um economical use of uh a darker green around that, nice and soft in the background, and those shadows just go in the right direction as well. Yep, well done, Irene. Like it. Let's just zoom back out again. There we go. Right. Isabel. You've made the river a little bit wider. I, lo I like that river. Yeah, those, those, the actual reflections and some of the very, not too many, but just a few horizontal lines that really works. Trees I love. I like, I like this right hand tree here. Particularly, you've made it quite cool and blue. Um, yep. Yeah. Um, strong shadows as well. Um, yeah, just thinking uh, some of the shadows on the far side no I think I think these are I was going to say maybe we've got too much of an angle going down like that with some of these lines but I think you've compensated that by having a few more horizontal lines up there yeah, lovely. Uh, fabulous, Isabel. Thank you. Ah, James D. And like Calvin, you've included a well. You've 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 done. You've got twice as many figures as Calvin. Um, you've got a two figures here. I guess picnicking, or they got the rug out. Um, maybe you wouldn't do this in January in the UK. I don't know where you're based, James, James D. Um, but 
stronger sunlight, you've got a bit of a shadow coming across the river as well. The background I like, feeling of strong sunlight coming through. So you, you, we've got a different time of year maybe here, um, but it works well. Very nice scene, nice composition as well, having the balance of the left hand, that smaller left hand tree, these two figures and this, this uh, dominant right hand tree here framing it on the right hand side. Uh, perhaps some of the shadows are a little bit too detailed. If this is grass, maybe we wouldn't see all these individual twigs in. Try and get in some softer edges perhaps with that shadow also. But well done for including those figures. I think they're, they're really good, just in the right proportion. Um, yeah, good idea having a, a, a figure like that. We, we were saying on the, on the workshop, I was debating the, 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 whether to include a figure or not. And my argument on the day was, well, we've got these two old gnarly trees. Maybe they're replacing what figures might do with some sense of scale and interest. And they always had some sort of figure-like qualities to them with their with the 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 trunks and the limbs and the the, um, the thinner twigs coming off so but it's it's whatever you want to do i mean include animals figures in a in a scene like this um certainly you know just try and be a bit more creative in that way yeah thanks very much james james d uh, Jana, nice and soft. The river almost feels like it's curving, like this, almost like a sort of banana type shape. Uh, good colours in the foreground. Maybe with the tree, try and connect the shadow with it. Um, perhaps go just a tiny bit darker in this area here, Jenna. I like the, the value you've got on that left-hand tree. I think it's just right. If, if it was a tiny bit darker here on the right, um, and also the base here is where the, the bottom of the tree meets the shadow is quite, is quite sort of horizontal or flat. I think if we got the feeling of the roots coming out, like that, if you see what I mean. So there's a bit more of a connection between the trunk and the shadows that might work a little bit better. Um, but I really like the the background and those reflections. Yeah, well done, Jana. Thank you. And Janet. Well, very colourful. I like the effect that you've got the texture with some of the foliage and shrubs on the far side um, and like this, this glow coming from the distance as well. Yeah. I like the, the, the way th the texture you've got with the brush, well, we can just see the side of your palette there. Um, but the texture you've got with the brush, it's almost like, um, quite, I guess, quite thick. I, I guess you might have had a small brush and applied it quite thickly. And it's a different effect that you can get um, with that sort of body type paint. Less, less water, more paint to water ratio. But you've got that soft background in these trees. Perhaps some of these trees could have a few more lateral branches I like it yes nice one Janet thank you and John D oh, a bit like a bit like Janet you've you've gone for um, that sort of body paint and applying um, thicker paint in areas now John I can see you've included a boat in yours just right, a sense of scale. Um, also, that boat, the way that you've connected the shadow, it almost just sort of 
blends into its shadow um, all as one. That's very effective. That boat is superb. And the patterns that you've got with the white paint as well, these little squiggly um, vertical marks, maybe not true to, this one was quite wintry, I guess, in a way. Perhaps we've just had a flurry of snow or a very cold night. Um, definitely the feeling of winter. But I, li I like the style of, of the use of the, the inclusion of the boat and that white paint. Some traditionalists might frown at the use of um, white paint, but I think you've done that really well. Yeah, thanks, John. Excellent. And Joy. Nice and light. Good sense of brightness coming through from the right-hand side. Maybe um, it's a bit like one of my practice paintings. I was a little bit too light. I think if it if we injected a bit more um, stronger green or a, a darker shadow in here, that might give us a bit more impact. Um, yeah, so just, just watch with a little bit of overworking of the shadow of the tree and then also try and connect the two together because we're looking into the light so these shapes will be, these objects will be quite dark and sometimes might be quite difficult to see where the bottom of the tree um, is and then the start of the shadow, if you see what I mean. But very nice. And I like that background nicely done with the soft edge and that, that sense of light coming through and these confident little twig marks there as well. Well done, Joy. Judy S, thanks very much for sending me your painting. That's, I like the background. Bit of a, a sort of pinkish, purplish uh, tint to the background, makes it a bit more interesting. Nice and soft, good a little bit of wet in wet here. Um, that's nice here, that little dome, um, the, the effect that you've got there. Perhaps the reflections could be a bit stronger in the river. And also some of these lighter areas here could be darker not leave out those lighter patches. Uh, good foreground though, and I like that. It's almost like a sort of cobalt, like a very sort of bluey um, green that you've got in there. And also the impression of a bit of a, a, a hump in the contour of the, of the ground in the foreground also. Yeah, well done, Judy. And Jit. Yeah, so quite a sort of warm glow to this and a pinkish tint in the distance. I think those trees look a little bit too stark. I think if they were um, more irregularly spaced and went to the top of the paper went to the top edge and with a few more horizontal bits it might look a li little bit less dark um, and then keep the river a little bit lighter jute so that we can see the reflections a little bit more in there. I like the foreground and especially this area here this looks like a very sort of cold icy um, uh, patch um, in that in that bottom left hand corner there Jit. so um, well done on that yeah um, yeah so just just my point about the the trees really and uh, just trying to make them a little bit more natural looking well done Jit. thank you uh, Carter yeah brilliant um, that light that you've Look at the contrast between that lighter area here and the darker foreground. That really helps emphasize that bright sunlight coming down on the scene. And also these ever so 
subtle little marks <clears throat> that you've made in the, in the reflection as well. This one here, this one here, this one here, and that one there. It just sort of gives you the feeling of a, a gentle ripple going out in that kind of direction. Yeah, a great tree on the right-hand side, attention to detail with some of the foliage on the far bank and this right-hand side also. Lovely one, Kada, or Kada, Kada, thanks very much. Hopefully I pronounced your name okay. Thanks, thanks. Uh, Kay. Yes, I like that foreground. I mean, it's it's there's no green there at all. Um, maybe a sort of slightly yellowish, light yellowish green in the middle ground. Um, but that that was a brave step to change the sort of color of the of the scene, and the also introducing a, a nice sort of contour and wavy edge to the, uh, the the background we've got the feeling of light though you've you've captured the scene but you've interpreted it in your own way uh yeah that foreground though brilliant well done um kazim another nice foreground and these two trees, the, the trees are excellent in this, Kazim. Very, very good. The, the way that you've depicted this left-hand tree here with its gnarly branches, and then this on the right-hand side, this tree trunk with those marks here, almost like a sort of spirally um, form of that, of that tree trunk and you've done very well to join connect up the the um the tree trunk with the grass and i've just noticed you've got a couple of figures here and such an unusual sort of pose to have them in a, in a painting uh well done yeah and that, and that whole foreground as well that well almost pure yellow there then a lighter patch then we're we're going a little bit warmer and then a cooler green to the left. Kazim, this is marvellous. It's, it's a magnificent watercolour. Well done. And those figures there, just the right, sort of they're looking um, from the right to the left. They're looking into the centre of the scene. And they're almost connected, almost part of that, that tree trunk. Yeah, great. Uh, Klaus. Very loose. I like this this vibrant, energetic movement that you've got from this left limb of the tree. These marks, and like a previous painting, um, connecting almost connecting that smaller left hand tree with this larger right hand tree. Very effective. Yeah, and. Again, you've got the sense of light coming through. Very nice, Klaus. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, just before I go on to the next painting, I'll just give you a little bit of uh, introduction into the system we use for the workshops. This is the Crowdcast system I use. Very easy. No need to download any application. No adverts. No no distractions, very easy uh, interface. You, you've got a full screen of, uh, you can have a full screen of my demonstration. You can see my palette. There's a chat window on the right hand side. There's a, a question option down the bottom. I, I have lots of opportunities um, for asking, uh, for people to ask, attending to ask questions during the, uh, during the proceedings. And I try and give the best answer I can. Um, sharing the source photo as well. Um, and this is all recorded. Uh, you can um, play back the recording as many times as you want to. There's no limits, no, um, no expiry 
I know some systems, they expire after a week or a few weeks. This one will never expire. You can watch as many times as you want to. And you can also attend um, previous workshops. So more information, just go up to crowdcast.io slash Tim Wilmot. Chris, excellent. I like it a lot. Very soft, very dramatic. The the this far, that's sorry. This this right hand tree here is excellent. The way that you've got, you've created the the form of the the sort of ribs of that tree, and then coming down into ground, and then melting into this. Uh, very beautiful blue um, shadow here and, and the the uh, soft edges that you've got in there as well this dry brush mark yeah nice interpretation scene I like it with those blues that I guess it's almost uh looks like a sort of cobalt blue but Chris uh, this this is fantastic um, I like it lovely a nice soft loose impressionistic impressionistic feeling of the scene well done uh lanny yeah uh i like it good colors good range of values we've got maybe a little bit overdone with some of these little marks these sort of blotchy marks in the foreground but everything else is very nice uh, particularly like the reflections on the right hand side here Lanny um, and these trees as well with the little thin wispy branches coming off maybe a little bit overdone on this left hand one but this right hand one is superb yeah amazing um, thanks so much Lanny thank you right uh, Laurent, beautiful. The balance, so you've made the left hand tree a little bit bigger um, than it was in the source photo, but it works. I mean, these, these things are designed to be changed. We just interpret them we want to. Uh, the way that you've used watercolour to create that background is to zoom in there. And these little bits of... I guess it's like a cerulean blue, like an opaque blue that you've just dropped in there, here and there. Um, but a very soft feeling to the background, great reflections, a misty type feeling to the surface of the water. And then these two dominant um, trees here and great connection to the, to the shadows as well going across. Yeah, excellent. Well done, Laurent. Thank you. And Libby, very bold, quite dark. Uh, you've got a sense of light coming through. Um, on the trees, perhaps some of the tree trunks could be a little bit thicker in places and perhaps a little bit overdone on some of the thinner twigs that come out um, from that. And then what, also watch the a little bit of the perspective as well with some of these lines here. Um, not sure where that shadow is coming from there. Perhaps we could have had a bit more, bit more light here, Libby, and then that comes up against the darker part of the trunk. Uh, very nice reflections. Yeah. And great sense of light coming through. You really do feel it coming, um, coming in towards us. Well done, Libby. And Lois. Ah, we have a boat. We have some nautical people in the scene. Yeah, very well placed. Going, probably going upriver, I think. I think the river flows from left to right, so they're going upriver. And good trees as well. Um, maybe just a little bit too much of the dry brush marks in the foreground here it, it looks just we've got too much contrast it, maybe if this patch here was a bit lighter we might get away with it 
Um, but yeah, just feel in my in my opinion, um, just a little bit too much the dry brush marks there. This tree trunk could be a little bit darker as well in value, just a tiny bit. Uh, but great, great idea, including that boat with a couple of um, people in the boat, a couple of figures in the boat. Yeah, well done. And nice background, nothing overworked, very good sky. Thank you, Lois. Congratulations on including those people in the boat. Well done. Um, Lorna, very soft. Oh, I like this. The, these, those strong horizontal marks. We can see it. it's almost like um, a wind coming towards us. The, the shadows have, have movement to them. Yeah, this, this is magnificent. It's very, very beautiful. Uh, soft. The way that you've done those shadows. I guess maybe you've done a little bit of lifting off. Um, a tiny bit of um, very well controlled lifting off. Uh, yeah, and very, very good rendition of the reflections as well with a few lighter a few lighter horizontal lines that are replicated throughout the scene. Beautiful. Yeah. Well done, Lorna. That's, um, it's a, a real charming uh, watercolour there. Right, Louise. I like the colour in the background. Perhaps the edges in the background are a little bit too hard. If they're a bit softer, the transition from the sky to the the far trees and then a soft edge of the base of the trees um, in that middle ground that might work a little bit better um, ease off on some of the this darker paint here don't go too dark I, I do that myself I sometimes just take take a neutral tint or a paint ground I just, I just sort of liberally apply it to the paint and it's going to go a bit too dark so just watch that a bit but lovely uh, yellow glow there on the foreground and I like the tree also um, and the, the way that you've done the tree trunk and it blends, it connects with the shadow. Lovely colours. Well done, Louise. Uh, Lynn, a bit more horizontal feeling to this um, rather than a, the, um, the gentle gradient of the river. Works well. I like the trees. The way that you've got lots of different values of the trees, so lighter, obviously lighter value and distance. Coming a bit darker towards us like the tree as well good shadows coming out from that tree and that bit of light there that's quite attractive that light there against the darker shadow around it and that yellow patch works well also very nice Lynn I like it well done Marco yeah uh, the first thing I looked at was those reflections. I just love the, the way that you've done the reflections here, these squiggly lines um, with, I guess, some sort of natural mop brush or a, a, certainly a soft brush. Yeah, those, those reflections are brilliant. Uh, maybe in the background, the, the trees could have been, in the far background, that is, the trees could be a little bit darker. And also with this major tree here on the right, try and connect the, or try and get a more of a feeling of those buttress roots that come out from that tree as well. That sort of, the legs, rather like, like elephants' feet, um, elephants' legs and the feet, they sort of slope out into the ground. Um, that would give that more of a connection with the ground. Um, I like the splattering that you've got in there as well, very effective. But favourite for me, those, those reflections. Well done, Marco. Thank you. Maria H. Yep, nice and bright. Loose. Watercolour. And... 
very good uh, lightness in the in the foreground. And these lines that you you created, um, that one there, here, here, they really do draw the viewer in. I think to that lighter area. Um, that's that's a really sort of successful way that you did that. Um, tree. Tree's all right, perhaps just a little bit overworked or or maybe get a bit looser with some of these these um, lines here that you're doing. Um, and just be a little bit careful with some of the white paint, maybe just a, in, in air, it's just a little bit too, too much use of that white paint for that frost. But it's a really bright, colourful watercolour. Yeah, I really like it, Maria. Thank you. Uh, Martha right so very golden background uh, it's a shame we're not seeing the tree trunk of the tree on the left um, that might look just a little bit better there I think here the far side of the bank um, it's sort of in the same line as the as the um, as this side limb coming out here, and they're, they're the same van as well. So we we kind of lose um, where that is, and maybe in there that that section there could be lighter. So we've got darker here. So we've got the the bank going across. Uh, but I like the foreground. The foreground is very good with these lines again leading your eye into the composition, leading your eye to see, and, and I like. These reflections also, the different colours that you've got in there, browns, blues, and a bit of translucency to it, to it as well. Yeah, I like those reflections. Look, it, it actually looks quite wintry, those, that, that water surface as well. Well done, Martha. Thanks very much. And Martin. Great sense of light coming from the right-hand side. And very vibrant um, brush marks that you've you've incorporated in that tree. Uh, perhaps some of the tree trunks in the distance could be connected with the ground a little bit more, rather than just coming down and then in places just maybe not not sort of joining the surface too too much. Um, reflections good, nice colour in the foreground. More of a sort of warmish, orangey colour to that grass, and good and good shadows as well. Dark, dark at the base, um, coming out. Maybe I would have wouldn't have had this lighter these lighter patches here. Would have painted that in. Have more of it because we're looking against the light. Have more of a solid feeling to that. Um, well done, Martin. Thank you, and Mary Ann. A soft one and I, I, I actually the, the trees the trees in the background they were quite regularly spaced and that's how a lot of people have interpreted but you've actually spaced them out a little bit more regularly and yours looks a lot more natural as a wood love those reflections very nice and then, uh, and the other standout for me is the base of that tree trunk. Look at the form that you've been able to get there. That darker area in here, this rib coming down and then coming into the, the shadows going across the ground, almost like a sort of very soft, lacy feeling. I like it. Yeah, well done, Marianne. That's beautiful, uh, especially that. Well, the reflections and that area down there. Great. Uh, Max. I like the shadows. Perhaps the, the edges are just a little bit too hard, but the shadows, not overworked. Good connection of the tree, the tree trunk to the shadows. Um, good background and foreground as well. 
dry brush marks used in abundance. Um, I like the foreground yellow here in these, like a previous painting, nice. The way that you've got those lines. And just very loosely done. You've painted it and then left it and don't muck about with it. Like you did the shadow here, you, you put it in and you just left it and didn't muck about with it. And that so it gives a, well, it gives a nice sort of fresh um, feeling to it. Uh, like the tree as well, uh, with all those twigs coming out from the limbs. Yeah, well done, Max. Go out a bit more, right, next one, Nancy. Well, my f I'm first struck with the blue. I think that works really well. The and, and also the shapes that you've you've actually incorporated in here. These sort of squirly, swirly, curly. <laughs> that's the word I'm looking for. Curly, curly shapes. Um, and that that blue of the far bank. Um, you've you haven't stuck with that kind of horizontal. Um, band of the, the far trees, uh, lots of curves in this, that tree trunk on the right, this right hand one. Very colourful, um, sort of patchwork of, of colours. Yeah. And nice reflections as well. Thank you. Nancy E. Yeah. Nancy E and then a Nancy T. Yeah. Well, two things I've noticed straight away. This, this delightful shadow from the tree. And again, we've got that good connection. Dark tree coming into the lighter shadows. And the reflections. Let's have a look at the reflections. Yeah, not overly done. Yes, very, very nice. Um, a nice foreground. Got that bright yellow there. And the light coming through, the gap in the trees. So uh, there would have been trees there, but because the light's so bright, of course, we've, we've got to think how we, how we depict that in watercolour. I like the way that you've taken the shadows of the middle ground trees from the from the riverbank up to the trees. That's very effective at connecting the riverbank to those to those trees. Yeah, nice nice sort of pattern of those lines going across from the riverbank to those trees. Thank you, Nancy T. And Nancy. We have three Nancys. We've got another Nancy? No, Pablo. Right, Nancy. Well, you've got a, 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 a different feeling here, almost um, a very low bank and then a, a sort of hump of a, of a hill here coming down to the bank. Um, I like it. And then but you you have connected the the riverbank to those trees, so you've got those those connecting lines in there. Um, nice tree trunk on the right hand side. Just be careful not to overdo the white paint too much. Um, and then some of these lines on the left hand side, maybe I wouldn't have long lines that you've got maybe shorter lines might give give us more of the impression of the of the grass here and the little mounds of grass a bit more uh, let's have a look at these reflections oh I like the we well, might have used a little bit of white paint perhaps for some of the reflections but that works really well those little horizontal strokes there all these gaps and that one there and that one there I can see 
and then dry, some dry brush marks for some of the trees in the middle ground. Well done, Nancy. Thank you. Uh, Pablo. So this is quite a, quite a dark um, scene. We get the sense of a, a much thicker forest in the distance. I like those reflections, Pablo. They're beautiful. Um, perhaps the green here in this area here is just a little bit too bright. I think elsewhere it works. And then also try and connect the tree with the shadows. So just be a little bit careful on some of the overworking in certain areas. But the, the feeling of the thick forest is brilliant. And also these reflections are, are like them. That's just the right color. You've got the, you've captured the color of the water. It's not clear. It's not dirty as such, but it's got maybe some silt in it from, from the winter rains. Yeah, it's just the right color. Sort of warmy, a warm brown gray color. Thank you, Pablo. Uh, Pam, uh, Pammy, Pam, uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce your, your name, P-A-M-M-E, but what a fantastic watercolour. Now, I was talking about connecting earlier on in a number of paintings, but you've done it in abundance in this. First of all, my eyes are drawn to the far side of the riverbank, the way that you've depicted that, almost the trees are connected to the riverbank shadows and then to the shadows, they're almost all as one. So we've got the trees coming down, then they hit the ground, then there's a horizontal line to the riverbank. And then we've got that horizontal nature of the riverbank going a slightly different angle, top left, one right, and then the reflections coming down. Beautifully done. Uh, likewise, the tree, the main tree on the right here, with the shadow, again, nicely connected, just the right edges. Uh, and, and then thirdly, the tops of those trees. I was, so I was so busy looking at the delightful um, reflections, I was missing the top. And you've taken them above, you've taken them um, to the top of the paper, a top edge there. And also, they've gone a bit thicker, which you think would be counterintuitive. They, they get thinner, but I think that really works to give, just give the sense of some drooping foliage, um, almost like sort of palm leaves that are coming down. But but obviously they're not palm trees because of this, because of the area. Uh, but uh, that really does help having some of those lines, like this one here, this line coming down, that line coming down, and there's a gap, We're lost and found. Yeah, very nice, well done. Uh, Pat C, let's just zoom in a bit. What a beautiful middle ground and background. Yeah. You, you've, you've actually, it's not loose. Um, it's not tight, but it's sort of, it's, it's like, sort of happy balance in the middle. The, the actual um, feeling of depth that you've got in there and different colours and the blues and, and warms and the, and the green horizontal base. We still feel there's a little bit of light coming through here, areas of light. You, you've observed the scene really well and done a good job here. Uh, the texture of the foreground as well. Yeah, and, and, that, and that tree trunk, let's just zoom into that tree trunk. And attention to detail, the light um, of this side here almost looks like part of the 
bark has peeled away from the tree and it's exposing the, um, the, the, the layers below. But it almost looks like the light the lights come down, it's bouncing up here. We've, we've got a bit of light on that lower part of that limb. Yeah. So this is really good observation and attention to detail. Really works. Uh, nice one, Pat. Pete. Pete R. Great colours. Lovely reflection. Um... Again, we're connecting. We're connecting these shapes together. Tree trunks, shadows, shadows. This tree here, tree, tree down, shadow over, connecting with the reflections. Yeah. Nice um, way that you've painted in these twigs as well. Uh, just be careful with the, so the white paint. I mean, um, just overdoing it a little bit too much and perhaps with the brush marks. Um, yeah, I like, like that yellow there though, Pete. Very nice, well done. Excellent. And Philippe. Oh, I like the yellow here. It's almost, uh, you need to get your sunglasses on for that bright yellow. Uh, a nice contrast with the more sombre far side of the river. I like the background as well that you've got in there. And, and we've, got a, we've got a little hint of a soft edge to the top, but certainly we've got it in places on the bottom. Well done. Yeah, a nice bright watercolour. Could have maybe gone a bit stronger with some of these branches um, on this right hand tree here and just watch uh, we're just on the verge of slightly overworking it in places I feel so just be a bit careful with that but I love that that bright yellow it's very effective well done Philippe and Phyllis Uh, so Phyllis, you've got the river coming at more of an angle. Nice, I like it. And a bit of a contrast with the, so we've got the horizontal background then, a bit more of an angle with the river. Um, maybe with the trees, use a bigger brush and try and do it all in one and have less, less whiter areas, Phyllis, um, in them. I'm guilty of that myself sometimes. I just leave a few little bits of the paper, too many for my liking, and it um, just doesn't look quite right. Um, but I, I love that. For me, the standout here is the background and the contour that you've got in the, on, the, on the middle ground, um, just on the far side of the river. Yes, well done, Phyllis, thank you. Ravi B. I like the drama of these lines. So the background is playing second fiddle to the foreground. The foreground is, is, is the dominant thing here. The horizon is quite high up. We've still got a little bit of sense of the lightness, light coming in from, from the middle um, into, into the scene. But the, the way that you've created these brush marks, so I guess you've taken the brush from the left to the right, Ravind, um, yeah, just the right amount of dry brush marks there. The tree, the the tree here blending nicely with the shadows. These are great shadows. Nothing overworked. Um, watch the limb here being in the same line as the riverbank. Perhaps if it was just a bit lower, a bit higher, or a bit of white paint maybe on the top, just to just to say that that is different from the from the far bank. Yeah, very dramatic. Those those lines are are brilliantly painted. Very loose, yeah. Good 
good uh, composition as well. Well done, Ravi. Uh, Ravi N. So we had Ravi B, Ravi N. Oh, I like those those background trees, Ravi, and, and a bit of blue here. So light in the sky, touch of blue in the top left corner. Those trees are very good. And this one, well, maybe a little bit too fussy with the shadows. Or perhaps it's, it's too much white. Maybe it's too much white paint, I think. Um, but those reflections are very nice. Ravi, the way that you've got those lighter horizontal lines across the river. Yeah, I like it. Well done, Ravi. Thank you. Uh, Rhonda. Nice colours. Almost like a sort of light red in the top left corner. Yellow here. Reds. Perhaps the, the middle ground trees could be a bit stronger. Um, and just be careful a little bit with the white paint as well. Or perhaps add... No, I think, you're, I think where, you've, where you use the white paint is all right, but just a little bit too much. Just verging on it, using it just a little bit too much. I like the um, that river. It does have a nice sort of sheen, nice sort of glassy surface to it, um, particularly in this middle area here. That's beautiful. Well done, Rhonda. Uh, and nicely mounted as well. Ricardo, very colourful. I like the, the line that you've taken of the... Uh, background trees just slightly up on the left hand side perhaps with the trees in the middle ground try and alter the thickness of some of those trees so they're not too uniform lovely yellow in the um on the near side of the bank in the foreground replicated over here so we've almost in a line coming across i like the texture that you've got into the foreground as well I think you might have done a bit of scraping, very brave unit, and it's worked, um, particularly that line there. Very good use of scraping. It's, it's all down to timing, isn't it, with, with scraping. If you do it too early, then the, the line sort of fills in with the wet paint either side, or if you do it too late, you end up damaging the surface. So there is a, there is a, it's a timing factor. That, that scraping there worked. In, at, the, at the base of that left hand tree yeah well done Ricardo and Sally P nice and loose very fresh nothing overworked good composition we've almost got like a little pool being created here where the the width of the, ri the river the, the river is wider here um, nice and light there bit of contrast with the darker tree yeah I love that background as well the way you've done that background um, connecting it with some of the middle ground trees very nice well done Sally that's Sally P Sandra H well you feel winter in this one um, certainly, it's, it looks like the far side of the bank had a very severe bit of frost um, on it. But we've got um, a bit of warmth here in the foreground. Uh, I like that tree trunk. Nice transparency to the tree and, and then the way that you've drawn those or painted in those, those ribs of the, the, the tree and and the way that you've depicted the frost as well. Yeah, well done, Sandra. Nice um, horizontal lines on the river also. Thank you. Well done. And Shannon. 
Now you've actually emphasised the far side of the bank. That's where I'm looking first. My eyes immediately went to, let me just zoom in a bit more. My eyes, oops, a bit too much. Zoom out. My eyes immediately went to that far bank where the light is. Yeah, and a different interpretation of the scene altogether. That right hand tree is very beautiful. The way that you've done the foreground here and the shadows, the lighter bits, the, the different edges and a bit of a tiny bit of splattering. Um, a ver this is a very good interpretation of the, of the scene, Shannon. Well done. Yep. Congratulations on that. And Sheila. Oh, I love the I love the lost and found of the vertical trees here. Beautiful. Um, dry brush marks. You've done it. You haven't tampered with it. You've got on to the next one. Um, nice technique with the middle ground, then the water, at the actual bank, and the reflections as well. Lovely. Um, not sure what was happening, maybe with a bit of white paint here, but it's hardly noticeable. Yeah, and and actually quite like these yellow squiggly marks here. Um, on that lighter patch. Yes, well done, Sheila. I particularly like those those far um, trees, though. Sue B. Um, different angle again of that river. We could have had a few more trees on the far side, I think, Sue. But you kept things nice and soft. We've got the feeling of light there below the, the tree. Um, just watch with the shadow um, of the tree, trying to, maybe it's this edge here, just a little bit too hard. But you've got it, you've got it connected, that's good. But maybe, maybe because we don't have too much of the foreground to play with, we can't really emphasize the shadow of that tree too much and also the the twigs coming off the tree try and ha have them going <coughs> excuse me try to have them going in different directions rather than all sort of parallel um so some of these some of these lines here i guess generally they're going to be trying to go upwards because they're the tree's being cut here and then the tree is stressed so it sends out all these little um water shoots they're called or water sprouts uh, water water shoots i think they're called where um the tree gets damaged and they send out all these little thin whippy shoots um nice soft background lovely sky as well and i like that little bit of a, an edge there also could be a cloud yeah it's definitely like a like a low-lying cloud yeah, well done, Sue. Sue, Sue B. Oops, did I go too far forwards then? That's Sue B. And Suniti. Yeah. Um, very fresh. Nice and loose. The light for this one looks like it's actually over on the left-hand side, which doesn't matter. Um, your, your sky is slightly dark on the right hand side but that lightness over there works really well good trees uh, dry brush marks confidently done good reflection as well and nice loose uh, foreground and, and a good natural looking green there as well uh, terrific thanks Suniti let's just zoom back out and on to Suzanne. Let's just zoom in a bit more. Very good background and middle ground with those trees, just the right value. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this far tree here on the right hand side, you've got some great colors in there purples, goldens, greens, browns. 
nice connection with the shadows as well. Nice texture on the foreground. <coughs> uh, but that, mid that middle ground background is brilliant. Well done, Suzanne. Sylvia C. Very bold. I like that yellow glow on the on the distant um, trees. You've got in a bit more of the canopy of the trees as well, which I think works. Trying to not make the the background so stark with those very rigid uh, vertical lines, the vertical shapes of trees. Um, nice bold. Uh, shadows in the foreground perhaps a little the edge just a little bit too hard there might be nicer to keep the edge harder um, towards the, the tree there but then having it softer coming out um, further away from the tree great reflections nice little nice few little horizontal marks there as well yeah nice nice uh, I I particularly like those that background that you've got in there, Sylvia, with the golden colour it and then maybe a bit cooler over there. Yeah, it really it really does give the sense of that far, far forest. Well done, Sylvia. And another Sylvia. Now with this one, with that blue sky, it looks like the sun is a little bit higher in the sky. Um, maybe uh, a slightly different time of year, almost more aut autumnal. Now, I, I like the loose water, these bold brush marks. Look at that shadow there um, that, that Sylvia's done. And also these bushes on the right hand side. There was a either something growing out from the tree or some bushes growing on the, the near side of the bank. But you've You've actually sort of captured that really well. So it's a nice loose watercolour. Yeah, nice blending of the tree trunk with the shadows. Brilliant, beautiful. Well done. Teresa. Oh, very yellow. I like it. Um, the, the, the brush, the, the actual marks that you've made, I like that shadow, the brush marks that you've made, let me just zoom in, where you've got these trans, translucent layers, these transparent layers, um, very effective. Um, maybe we could have had a sense of more bushes in the foreground so that we're not, the ground looks maybe a little bit too perfect for some of these shadows here, Teresa, but... Uh, oh, it's a beautiful watercolour. Nice and light in the middle. Lots of different edges, soft edges, hard edges. Uh, with the tree here, maybe <coughs> have some, you know, different lengths of branches and different directions and some crossing as well, rather than being too perfect, like a sort of... Um, like a brush type shape, so just just um, try and rough it up a bit. But a lovely watercolour, and that foreground is fantastic. Well done. Uh, Tim C. Yeah, very nice. Um, just the right colours. The, the, the greens here are really good uh that for that the background green the foreground green yep and the edge that you've got on the far on that far wood it looks like there's there's these middle ground trees and there might be a sort of field and then we've got the trees going going beyond that very nice but good connection of the tree trunk to the Shadows also, dry brush marks, but that gorgeous green, that is, that is just, well, you, you've obviously mixed your own green, as you've done very well there. Uh, and, the, and the tree trunks, all in different, um, different angles, some leaning, some more vertical. Yeah, well done, Tim. And Ting. 
nice and soft in the background. Uh, good reflections as well. This tree. Good, uh, quite a few soft edges to it. Lost and found with the, the twigs also. Very good, Tim. I would say do, maybe with some of the um, lines in the foreground, just maybe have them um, emphasizing that so that we, we've got the feeling more of the horizontal, the level nature of the, the bank here. So that we don't feel as if we're too, looking down on the scene too much. And little little touches of golden in the uh, in the middle ground there, where there, where there were small brambles and bushes that have got their winter colour. Yeah, what well unting? And Tony, soft, nice soft one. I like the way you've done the far tree trunks with a little bit of lifting out of some of the middle portions just where the light might be touching or trying to come through it this left hand tree there very realistic it's sort of almost falling into uh, the river with that limb going into the river i like the way that you've done the foreground as well could have been a bit darker with the shadows there tony um yeah, perhaps this area here could be darker, a little bit too light. So perhaps a little bit darker with the shadows, but very, very, uh, very good job on that, um, that middle ground there in the far forest. Well done. Uh, Tony R. Yeah. Loose. Nothing overworked. Perhaps we could have had a few more trees in the middle ground and some lateral horizontal branches just to make them a little less stark. But you've got you've got in some some trees that are leaning slightly. Good good uh, connection of the shadows of the base of those trees. Um, this foreground though is lovely with a number of different shades of green: the yellow. A mid green there, then the darker green. Not too overly done with the white paint. Good connection of the tree, the tree uh, base to the shadows as well. Nice reflections. Well done. Yeah, thanks, Tony. Well, that's the uh, short critique then of the attendee paintings for my January 2021. Um, watercolour workshop as I say I try and do these on a monthly basis and the next live watercolour workshop is coming up on February the 27th something completely different a snow scene from Switzerland uh, a photograph the source photo kindly um, shared with a friend of mine Francois um, so thanks very much Francois and yeah thick snow but we've got light nice bright sunny day and the light catching the, the trees. Let me just show you my, my first attempt at it. So this was my practice painting. I'm going to include a figure just to add a bit of interest in there. But I'll, I'll share with you how I, how I chose my composition, how I thought about the composition, how I painted in the trees, trying to depict the feeling of the snow. Um, the weight of the snow on these on these uh, fir trees and pine trees, that sun sneaking through a gap in the trees, and uh, some shadows coming out from those as well. Nice blue shadows, and well, we're going to be painting snow, and my my take on on painting snow. So I hope you can join me. Just go up to crowdcast.io slash Tim Wilmot for all the details. If you haven't registered already, um, it's only $7 to attend, uh, $7 US, and you get your critique as well. Uh, you get the recording to, to use as long as you want to. Uh, plenty of opportunity to ask me questions and 
share your painting with me afterwards. So hopefully you can join me, but thanks for watching. Those are 10 new paintings and a normal video, tutorial video will be coming up real soon. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and get your notifications turned on. Catch up with you soon. Bye-bye.